Now, you, you know, it's funny, bro. So I'm I'm running today and I'm listening to uh, J. Cole, uh, Forest Hill Drive. And mm -hmm. you could argue that mm -hmm. J. Cole been throwing shots. Listen, I'm a, I'm a mm -hmm. J. Cole fan. I'm mm -hmm. a Cole was, fan. And mm -hmm. I mean, me personally, I think I think Cole win in, in that versus any day. That's just my opinion. But okay. all I'm saying is, listen. All I'm saying is, I was listening to Four Hill Drive, and he kept making like, like little subs about people not being number one. And he mentioned uh, Drake. He mentioned uh, Kendrick. He mentioned him, and he was like, "Man, but I'm number one." He been saying this, so I don't know when. I don't know when that control uh, song dropped. When did that drop? What year was that? That was a while ago. That was you. You talking about literally 2016, 2015, bro? So when did when did um? J. Cole Forest Hills drop. Let's see. Hold I up. think it came after that. Yeah, so I'm thinking he was doing his little subliminal responses. I'm just saying, bro. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So <laughs> if we going off of your premise, you feeling like Ken? Well, first of all, I feel like this ain't stem from that. I feel like Kendrick making his stand at this moment is clearly based off of what was recently said on for all my dogs album there were some shots taken and there were some stances took where dudes were saying i'm number one and i don't care what none of y'all got to say about it i want to clarify for the record this ain't got nothing to do with no girls this ain't got to do with no money this has everything to do with mcs being mcs saying i'm let, the best let me ask and you what's, what's wrong what? What's wrong with an MC saying I'm the best? Like, 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 like said, that. I'm I'm numero uno. That's what he said, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like every time like Kendrick, when, when Kendrick wanna do, he wanna do what he wanna do is come shake up the industry and leave. It's like, bro, drop some music of your own that we can so that your fans can listen to. It's like every time you get on somebody else's track, you don't gotta be dissing other niggas. Like it's like it's giving clout chasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying it almost feel like your feelings hurt over. <laughs> But no, yo, I'm not. my feelings not hurt. It's just like hey, they hit your dog. He hit your dog with a couple of shots. That was some pop, pop, pop. Yo, yo, what a it was. But like, yo, this is old school hip hop. I feel like, come on, man, y'all, we've been friendly forever. I'm tired. I'm tired of everybody kumbaya -ing. and I don't want to sound like uh Joe. I hate the fact that right now I'm agreeing with Joe in this fashion. But yo, hasn't come on, yo. It's been boring. You sitting out here caping for sexy red. That's how bad it is out here. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Hendrick, shake this up. Throw some shots. Yo, Drake went straight on stage at the concert and told y'all he ain't with none of this. He's not phased by it. And now I just heard like a verse. It's not finished. But yo, he going he going straight for Kendrick Head. Let's go. I'm tired of this boring stuff. Like yo, get let's get back to niggas battling and then not being about killing each other, but let's talk about who's the best. Yo, I, you, we get to that point, Kendrick though. is taking heads, bro. J. Cole is going down. Let yo, your you man's this. dead. I'm sorry. Let me, ask, let me ask let me ask you this. Do you think it can strictly be just that? Like yes. MC battles. Yes. When the last time we seen that in hip hop? It's been a while. It's been a while, but have we, we had you would know this more than me. Have we ever seen it? I right, yo, it wasn't no violence between uh uh, uh Pusha T and, and Drake. They just yeah, it wasn't no violence, but and I then, mean it could have been violence, but <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but let's just clearly state that, like, in this scenario, there's really no real beef. Like, nobody's done anything, like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the crazy part of this, two of the guys in the battle were married. Mm -hmm. Settled, got kids, it's all cool. Drake is the only one out in the streets out here being wild. So the reason why I'm saying this is such a good battle is that this is all about who's the best, who can put the bars be together the best, who can put the, the, the songs together, who gonna get the crowd going crazy, who's gonna make the comment section go, ooh, you know what I mean? This summer is all about this face, that, ooh, ooh, Kendrick had niggas' faces going, Oh, like for the first I mean, time, bro. Like, that's bro. Like, that, no, come on, that. come on. When was the last time you really heard a verse and went, "Damn"? I tell you one. I, I tell you one. I tell you one. Uh, if you say when, sexy, I'm logging no, off. No, right, no, cool. no. Uh, when when J Cole 
drop the uh um what's the song um shooter thing what's the thing what name of the song first person shooter first person shooter when j cole went when drake that's who, that's who he's taking shots at listen Can't you ask me listen listen you asked me when the last time I, when the last time I, I made a face like that right when drake dropped first person shooter that's the last time i made a face like that yeah. so all i'm saying is and even in that i ain't like he wasn't like going at him if anything i, I felt like i heard him salute him he was like yo me kendrick and Drake, we the big three. You get what I'm saying? So I like to you for a nigga to salute you and you take back the salute. It's like, come on, bro. Hey, he said, it's just big me. <laughs> he said, oh, I don't, I don't want to be compared to you losers. I'm the, I'm yeah. him. I'm so, that guy, period. Um, if, we, if we being real, though, if we let's being be real. real, let's be real. Don't even, yo, you about to say something crazy. I'm don't not. Me. If we being real, it goes, if it goes Drake. J. Cole and then Kendrick. And if and we talk in what way are we talking about this? Are you in really any way you look in any way possible? possible? You in, in, in your heart, possible. in your heart, you feel like Drake really is gonna stand against Kendrick in a in a battle with like lyrics. Yes. <laughs> yo, he lying. Yo, this <laughs> yes. Shit. Yes. Yo, yo, I'm not listen, gonna... listen, I know, listen, I understand. I understand listen, I understand. He gonna make a diddy bop. That's no, all no. I, I, listen, I, I listen. I understand the Ghost Rider things and all that, and his name, his name got smut on it. Like he can never get rid of that smut. I get that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we can't take away how talented this dude is. Like he can rap his ass off, even in a first person shooter. A lot of people slept on his verse. A lot of people slept on his verse. Like Drake can really rap, bro. Like I'm, I'm tired of niggas. We're not bro. debating on whether or not he can really rap, bro. And I can't Kendrick Lamar, is, bro, he's, bro. It's funny, man. Wayno had this conversation. Kendrick Lamar can rap, but he that can. shit don't make a nigga like. I don't want to listen to that shit in the car all the time. I can listen to Drake. I can literally run two hours straight and listen to nothing but Drake. I can't do that with Kendrick. Kendrick, it, like he's good, but we be overhyping these niggas because I'm not, I'm they got not a bunch of lyrics. I'm not going to disagree that, but if we're going to have this conversation, what we are going to do is clarify who's the better MC. Can we play the clip, please, sir? Please, sir, play the clip. Four brilliant details you might have missed in Kendrick Lamar's Like That Verse. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. Like most of Kendrick's verse, this opening line addresses Drake and J. Cole's first person shooter, where the two take turns boasting about being the goats, which Kendrick took personally. Kendrick's opening bar warns them to watch their mouths, with the word coffin likely alluding to J. Cole's opening bar on first person shooter, returning her song to a funeral. But also mm. notice how coffin is a homophone for coughing, which relates to the neck and mouth, and plays on the idea that someone coughing threatens to get you sick. This is a play on both checks as in money and blue verification checks on social media, with the underlying message being that there's a lot of dummies with money and or online clout, but both don't mean anything if oh, you're not brother. respected like Kendrick is. But Goofy's with a check is also a Drake diss, with Goofy being a cartoon dog, a play on for all my dogs, and a check- Come on, yo! I'm not even halfway through the video! Every bar is a double entendre unto itself. You cannot sit here and tell me Kendrick ain't that nigga. Now let's go back and play a Drake verse and see how many double and triple and quadruple entendres we gonna get in a joint. It's not my fault that these niggas didn't graduate college, bro! It's not my fault! I can't help you that you can't understand English, nigga! The greats is the greats! This nigga ain't even saying nothing. Bro, are Yo, you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, serious right now. I'm serious. <laughs> Look, he gone. Let's go to the rest of the clip. Beck being the logo for Nike, who Drake collabs with. Kendrick is calling Drake Goofy, a non-threatening yeah. dog that's popular but not feared. <laughs> Here, Kendrick undermines the authenticity of Cole and Drake's partnership with wordplay on the cousins Be Legit and E-40, a.k.a. 40 Water, who are in a group. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. You wait, back. Wait, you back. wait, wait. Pause, pause, pause. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, -huh, uh, -huh, so uh -huh. are, are you really sitting here saying that... Yes, sir. I am. Drake don't drop double and triple entendres? No, he's not. He's not going to... He's not going to keep up with this. He's not going to keep up with it. How many double and triples did we have in the last joint? In, in the first person shooter? Bro, I, I, mean, I didn't... Damn, I didn't do my homework. I didn't know I had to study this. Like, I didn't know you. this the angle you was coming. But I'm sure we listened to it. It was some double and triple entendres. Like, bro, 
I knew you was going to try to I knew you was going to try to do this to me. We even got on the stream. I knew what you was coming here to do, and I'm not going to allow you to do it today, sir. I'm standing up for the MCs of the MCs, and I came prepared. I got receipts. Today. Think, this this is your Can, king. This is your king. This is this is this is my guy. Yeah, he coming for heads this year. Uh, uh, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish. Please, please. Goofies with a check. I mean this is a play on both checks as in money and blue verification checks on social media, with the underlying message being that there's a lot of dummies with money and or online clout, but both don't mean anything if you're not respected like Kendrick is. But Goofies with a check is also a Drake diss, with Goofy being a cartoon dog, a play on for all my dogs, and a check being the logo for Nike, who Drake collabs with. Kendrick is calling Drake Goofy, a non-threatening dog that's popular but not feared. Niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water tell em. Here, Kendrick undermines the authenticity of Cole and Drake's partnership with wordplay on the cousins Be Legit and E40, aka 40 Water, who are in a group called The Click. But Kendrick he is also nodding to the beat he's rhyming over, which uses the same sample source as e 40 song Look at Me. I feel like you might have to play this at a higher speed. I don't think we're gonna be able to play this back on YouTube, bro. Yeah, right. We might even set the script out that part. It ain't gonna play the whole part. Let's go. Now I'm saying, uh, can you uh, fast forward or no? Like, uh, uh, at, no, uh, I can't make it at a fast forward. Like, we, we, yeah, yeah. we can skip it. For, for all your dogs yeah. getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery, nigga. In these final lines, we get a direct reference to Drake's For All My Dogs, with Kendrick claiming to bury those dogs like Stephen King's horror novel Pet Cemetery. But this <laughs> line is a triple entendre. First, K is for Kendrick, a 10, surrounded by nines, Drake and Cole. Second, K is AK, surrounded by the much smaller 9mm. Finally, K plus 9 makes K9, tying a bow on the dog motif. But also notice how getting buried and cemetery in these final lines call all the way back to Kendrick's opening lines, don't pull no coffin out your mouth. A full circle moment to end this incredible verse. Ladies that and was, gentlemen. Hey, impressive. And shout out to him for catching all of that. Pause. Impressive. Yes, yes, it's facts. Impressive. Impressive. Yes, but facts. now what? What does it mean? No, we yo, I put the shot out there and let me see what y'all bring back. And we gonna go from there. Come on. Now, first of all, you know Cole is in album mode. He preparing to drop. So I know we're gonna get a response. Now, my question is, are we gonna get a response as like a single record, or is he gonna wait till his album to kind of do that? So the other part is Drake is on tour, so I don't know if he's gonna have time to respond, but let's see. No, he should. No, I'm I'm that's what the shit I'm tired of hearing. Like, I don't want to hear none of that. If you on tour, you can make a you can put a, a, some lyrics together and make mm -hmm. a response. My only thing is I want to hear a direct comeback. I don't want to hear no subliminals, I don't want to hear agree. I want to J. Cole, I want you to come back directly, and also exactly. Drake, my man, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a response. What do you what do you tell Meek? I need a response in four days. Mm -hmm. I need a response. You behind. I don't care about that tour stuff. Listen, this is the time. This is the perfect time to put all those ghostwriter, uh, all those ghostwriter rumors uh to the side. Yeah. This Agreed. is the perfect time. Make Agreed. a song, drop something. But in my personal opinion, Kendrick Lamar is last on the list if we're talking big three. No matter how you put it, no matter how you put it, he's last on the list. Why? Because Kendrick won, like I said, I can listen to both Drake and J. Cole for hours and not be bored and be good. I can't do that with Kendrick Lamar. One, that's one, right? Oh, two, right, I'm two. Gonna try. Kendrick Lamar, his, his, his lyrics are cool. It's okay. Like, like that last thing was fire. Don't get me wrong. He's a good rapper. I don't want to take nothing away from him. But when I'm listening to J. Cole and I'm listening to Drake, it's the way they say things that relates to me. Like, I think Drake had one once said, he said, if the neighbors complain about the noise, I'll buy the neighbor's house. Like, come on. Like, mm -hmm. that might not be the hardest lyric to, to the MCs that. outside, but that's hard. Nigga, that's like, hard. bro, if, 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 the, if the neighbors complain about the noise, I'll buy the neighbor's Like, come on, are we flexing here? I feel like Drake says things that we all can, like, that we all want to say, but we can't because we ain't got the money. I feel like that's Drake. Mm -hmm. Drake is the alter mm -hmm. ego. He says a lot of corny things as well, but, like, bro, even, like, all of that, like, Kendrick, I think somebody said this when it comes to battle rap. It's like, bro, if the audience don't get what you're putting down, is it that good? It's like, if I got to, if I got to, yes, knowing your audience. I, I think somebody said this about Loaded Lux. If, if yo, if, if, I, if, if we all don't get your lyrics, if we all don't understand, then it's like, come on, like, is it is it really that good? Like, like mm -hmm. we got to, we got to go do a whole math problem to understand what you're saying. Again, I'm giving him props. I think he's really good. It's just, if I didn't hear that whole breakdown, 
like I would have caught the canine thing, but I wouldn't even have caught the triple entendre. I feel like with J. Cole and Drake, they do it in a simple way, but satisfying as well. So it's multiple reasons why I think K Dot is last. He's good though. He's good. He's just he's okay. Good. Okay. Uh my man Jonathan Jones, he said, uh, they do have the relatability fabric. It's never over your head. Mm. I, I feel like that I'm not gonna. I'm not going to deny what Jay Hill saying. What I will say is it's super important. And this is co-signing more of Jay Hill. It's super important that the, the rhymes connect to the audience so that the audience could be a part of the, the thing. Now, the thing that makes stuff more complicated is the more of an MC you are, it's just going to be intricacies of the shit. Now, can Kendrick probably be a little bit more relatable? Not gonna, not gonna lie, not gonna doubt that. But I feel like this is one of those moments where he can shine, <clears throat> and he can show more relatability, and he could come back. I feel like this would be a good time for him to not wait another five years to put out some more music. This would be a great opportunity. Smack these dudes around for a couple of months, and then drop a dope ass album. Come us with some summertime heaters, and like let's make the summertime but exciting. I feel like he's not gonna do that because he don't have to. I feel like Kendrick is one of them niggas. He's a Gemini, right? Yes, he's definitely a Gemini. I, I feel like he's one of them niggas that's like, man, because I can, I'm not. I know y'all waiting. Fuck y'all. Like, that's <laughs> like, he, like, just on some asshole shit, in, in my opinion. I feel like he did the same thing with Control. Or I don't, again, I don't remember uh, no, the no, time no, no. frame, but did he drop a, a project right after Control? Nah, I think it was after the project came up, kind of like this. Bro, so it's like, yo, I'm going to come in, I'm going to shake the game up. Why? Because I can. Right, and and we mm -hmm. all know Gemini's they can be arrogant sometimes. It's like, yeah, I can mm -hmm. do this, nigga. And y'all gonna want music, more music, and I'm not giving y'all more music. And I ain't, I ain't saying nothing else unless you niggas say my name in a song. Say it, say my name. You feel me? Like that's how I feel. But again, even then, he probably still won't respond. Like, okay, y'all got that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I definitely feel like um, what came out of control could be the same thing that comes out of this. There was nobody of substance that he felt like he should have responded to that said anything. Like, J. Cole ain't really do no response, and definitely Drake ain't had no response to it. They let that thing go. But that's the point. It's like, why y'all keep... You can't keep saying you the best and you not about to battle. I want to see a clear battle. J. Right, Cole had a, little, had a little spout with Wale. That was the littlest spout of all time, and it really... It I wasn't even... Remember it. Uh, it was like a, a couple of years ago they had a little 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 tiff. It was like eh, man, and then like had no tiff with Wale, man. He making love songs with Miguel every chance he get. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? The next thing, Drake. All right, Drake. All right, of the, it's sad to say of between J Cole and Drake. Drake is the heavyweight battle nigga out of the two of them. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who, who said that? I'm saying that. Oh, yo, he's oh yeah, yeah, because <laughs> you no. Know, Yo, down. he, yo, I'm not gonna like this. Let, 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 let's be real. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Drake, Drake went in the ring with Meek, got him out of there. Drake got in the ring with uh Pusha T, held his own. Yes. He caught a couple of slaps. He didn't reply, but yo, I will not allow people to say Drake took a a, a complete L out of that battle. Nah, this shit Drake, was dope because Drake. I think what the one thing I love about Drake, as corny as he is, the one thing I love about him. You can tell his is is always tapped into the streets. Always yeah. like even yeah. if he don't respond, he might say some little slick shit on Instagram to let you know that I see, I see right. that shit y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't get it twisted. And yeah. that's the thing I love about him. But like, uh, he cannot ignore this. this. Yeah, he, he can't. And I feel like he, he shouldn't. This. And and I don't want to hear that big bigger person shit in this instance because Kendrick is the bigger person at this moment. He 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 stands on he got the he got the crown. He he, he got he, money. He, he got the crown right now. So come get it. As come get nothing it. I can say. I can say I think Drake is better. I think Cole is right. better. But in the moment, Kendrick got the crown. Come get it.